Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. I'm sort of a, um, it's not a promotion, it's what it is, it's information that he stays up at night and dreams about, I think. <laughs> and he handed me something, it's called Trapped in the House. Oh my gosh, here it is, uh, early in the morning on Saturday morning, Trapped in the House. Are you trapped in your house? No, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> You're here in the radio station. Right, right. So um, what made you think about doing this this morning? Well, and this isn't just for current. You know, if somebody's limited on transportation or the physical ability to get out of the house, here's, here's a lot of things to get through the day. Uh, you know, if, if, if you're not used to being trapped in the house, you're not used to entertaining yourself or keeping yourself busy because you're always outside. And we live in South Florida where we move here because of lifestyle. And the lifestyle is, you know, to go outside in the beautiful weather and stuff like that. So we have a lot of stuff to go through, which I'm glad I was able to come up with so many things um, because it'll make your day go by faster. It'll, it'll, get through, it'll get you through this crisis so much faster. I see the first thing, it's funny, driving, of course, we heard the doctor on our show just before this and one thing he did talk about was exercise to keep yeah. your immune system up yeah. do you exercise i try to walk 30 minutes every day oh, in that's the morning fabulous yeah. and when it gets too hot i'll go to the gym and i'll w walk on the treadmill and i have five televisions there i can watch the news and, but you do uh, live in a great place which I do live in a nice community. walking walking yeah. there is very good isn't it yeah i live in palm air and pompano beach and we probably have all together, there's probably nine miles worth of uh, walkways that are off the road. You're not walking on the road. And you're walking along lakes and the canal and stuff like that. So, so I'm very that's, lucky. you have a lot of properties there that you market because, of course, being a veteran real estate uh, guru, so <laughs> you, um, you sell a lot there, you list a lot, you... Right. Uh, you're really known as, um, I think, Mr. Palmer. <laughs> yeah, I do sell a lot of properties in Palmer, but I do cover all of Broward, yeah. Northern Dade, Southern Palm. So. Right, but uh, but you're so smart. In fact, one thing about Anthony I admire is he was in the construction business before, so he isn't letting you buy something that he knows no. is not proper, and he's different than other real estate people. Just they hand you the card, okay, look at it, that's it, and then no, 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 not Anthony. He goes over, overboard, as a matter of fact. Yeah. So, well, I have a client right now. I sold his condo. He bought another condo directly from somebody, and they did use a realtor to handle the transaction. And I just listed his place because he's moving, and uh, it was unexpected. So I, I check permits now to see if there's any open permits. So I check, and I said, uh, I don't want to use this name. No, but wait, excuse <laughs> me. Like, open permit? What does that mean? An open permit. Uh, in his case, the air conditioner. Somebody opened a permit to put an air conditioner in back in 1997 and never closed it out. Well, in the meantime, but from 1997 to present, around 2014, they put in another air conditioner and they didn't use any permits at all. So, you know, sometimes it's simple to close out a permit. You pay $80, they come and inspect. But in this case, they put it in prior to the codes changing. So we had to have another air conditioning company come in, do a couple thousand dollars worth of work just to get that permit no closed way. out. Yeah, and uh, you know you never let somebody close uh, settle with an open permit. Let the seller do that. So you see, that's where closings have problems when oh, people yeah. like you aren't on top of it. And title companies they'll wait to the last minute to check that because they don't want to spend the money. You know, and if it it's if it's the last minute. You know, the week before closing, this has taken uh, up to three weeks already to get this done. So Anthony Culp, see, I, I'm so glad we even got into this because he surprises me all the time. But let me give you his phone number. It's 954-815-9048. You want to get him if you're looking for a good <laughs> realtor. And I happen to have, a, um, I happen to be a real estate broker. I don't use it now for anything like this. But I know a good realtor and he sure is. Okay. Let's get back to your list because yeah. you're such a humanitarian. That's what I love about you. So we talked about, I started off with exercise, yoga, calisthenics, weights or stretching. That's yeah. important, right? Right, right. Okay, what else? Well, um, cook, whether it's for yourself or for, you know, a neighbor or somebody who is sick. Um, make sure it can be frozen because you don't want to cook something. And if it can't be frozen, then it's going to go to waste. Read. 
A lot of people don't read anymore. Uh, so find a good book and read. And here's one that's really important. Write. Sit down and write something. Whether you're writing, uh, you know, how you feel about what's going on or, you know, start that great novel you always wanted to do. Write short stories. Um, family history. You know, write, your, write down your family history to share it with the grandkids when they get older. They might not appreciate it now, but when people get into their 40s, they start to think about where did I come from? And, you know, we have, there's a lot of great things out there like ancestry and stuff like that. Wait, I have to tell you something funny talking about that. Um, I'm working with someone and they asked me for my resume. So, you know, I have a resume since, I guess, 2017. I updated it. I started reading it. I didn't remember doing all those right. things. <laughs> oh, my right. gosh. I said, I've really been busy for the last right. uh, 40 years, right? Right, right. So that's a good idea. You right? know, and grandchildren and, you know, sometimes children. Some, you're so busy working, you never share with them what you've done or, you know, they may hear about an award you won every once in a while. And but. I think it also, Anthony, makes you feel good about yourself. Well, uh, all the things that we're going to talk about gives you a sense of accomplishment. And whenever you have that sense of accomplishment, you feel better. And if you're trapped in the house, you know, you, you, you and you're just sitting there and watching TV, you know, it, 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 you're, you have to get through this. And you, wanna get, you don't want to get through this and look back and say, God, I was so miserable. I didn't get anything done. And, you know, you I want, just watch TV and the same stories are going over. They yeah. just put some different words to it. It's over on every channel. Isn't <laughs> no. it enough? I mean, I'm a big TV watcher. I am and too. I, and I'm like a child watching cartoons. I watch the same show over and over again. They can, oh, maybe I missed something. No, but I'm time. talking about the news. It's right, the right. same oh, thing. Oh, you can't sit there and watch the news all day. That's what's happening. It'll drive you crazy. They drive you crazy, and it's like, oh my gosh, did you hear that? And then right. it's not a good idea, is it? No, no. No, no. You have to. You have to do something. You have to get through the day. You know, one of the things uh, you don't want to isolate. Do not isolate. Get on FaceTime. Um, if you attend church or a regular organization and they're still having it, ask them if they can FaceTime. We're FaceTiming right now on Facebook. Um, a church service. Some church services they FaceTime now. Yes, they don't. They said don't go to church. The doctors right? say don't go to church. Right. Just they're doing it now on. Uh, on yeah. Facebook or yeah. also on, uh, I guess, YouTube. Yeah. So, you know, you can still stay in contact with people, FaceTime with your kids, grandkids, friends, you know. Uh, don't isolate, though. Let but everybody know what's going on. you can get on the phone, on. too. Like you can get on the phone. Uh, sometimes people want to see that, Yeah. you know, that connection, you know. And it's good, too, because if you're talking to somebody, they may be saying, oh, I'm doing great, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. And then you look at them, they're pale, they're sweating, they're... You know, the house That's is a mess behind good them. Good point. Good point. But now when you say in the house, but we can still go outside our house. Absolutely. You have to go outside. You have to go outside and get some fresh air. you got to exercise. You know, they're saying stay six feet from somebody. Don't shake hands. You know, when you do get home, you know, certainly don't touch your face. Um, I just going to touch my face, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I'm thinking, don't touch your face. Well, you know, hands. it's habit. And... You know, some people, I hope you don't get offended, but you don't touch your butt in public, so don't touch your face. No, I understand <laughs> and, that. And, you You're know, right. break that habit. Um, you know, wash your hands a lot more. But we do. We touch our face so much. Or we'll, before we wash our hands, we'll touch something else. Then we wash our hands and we touch that thing again. No, that's so, true. I mean, you if know, you're going in and out, I was thinking about that. Yeah. Use your elbows, right? Yeah. For, to open but doors. The contamination and... process is so... You know, we, we, we're we washing our hands, but the things that we're touching, we're not washing. So, you know, I uh, my partner gave me a thing of Clorox wipes. <laughs> so in my office, I'm the only one who's ever in the office besides the cleaning people, and they're cleaning things. So I have the Clorox wipes, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, well, maybe I should keep these in the car. And, you know, I can, because you can use Clorox wipes for your hands. I know. It may dry your hands out a little bit, but you can. Yeah, but wait a minute. In your car, you know, in, what you don't have to wipe things off in your car. It's well, sure your you car. do because Why? you think you're out. You just touch door handles, oh, elevator oh, buttons, everything else. Oh, I see. I'm now you sorry. get in your car, and oh, you touch the steering that, wheel thanks. and everything. I'm really and then you use Perel on your hands, yeah, but I'm... you didn't clean the steering wheel. And like your last guest said earlier this morning, Perel doesn't work as well as washing your hands. Right. You wash your hands, it washes the virus away, it goes down the drain. So the Clorox wipes are going to help because it'll kill a virus. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, you know, wash your hands as soon as you get a chance, but it will definitely help. So. Okay, so now we're stuck in our house, yeah. right? So we're on Facebook, all right, web search. Yes. So we have FaceTime, but then web surf. A lot of people don't surf the web. So 
All of those stupid questions you ever wanted to find an answer to, it's the you're best right. time to sit down and look it's for fabulous. it. And, and it'll bring, you know, when you're researching something, maybe something in history or, um, you know, when you're looking for the answer to that, most likely it's going to bring up other questions. And uh, you can really fall down a rabbit hole. There were times where I get online and I'm just looking for a quick answer. Next hours thing I fast, know, three right? hours. Yeah. <laughs> I so. did hear something last night I do have to tell you about. Uh, someone was talking about the AIDS crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, Rachel Maddow. I was watching her show. And she was talking about the AIDS crisis and how long it took to get, right. to get a vaccine. Mm -hmm. And then there was a, one smart guy, one smart scientist, who thought he knew what he should do and he became famous because what he found out did lead to the AIDS virus. Right. And that's the research on AIDS is what's helping us now. Yes. Because the the research they did to find the virus, isolate the virus, how to kill the virus, yes. you know, is all uh, went towards this virus. Yes. Right away. So where it took them 10 years just to get to the point to isolate the virus and then they had to go and I'm not a medical professional or anything, but I, I do have a little bit of knowledge of this. Um, you know, all of the things that took a very long, long time, they were able to do in, in months, which yeah. is amazing. That's so, what we're hoping now for yeah. this, aren't we? Right. And then everyone will have a vaccine. But one thing, yeah. I don't know if you do it, but I had my flu shot, I had my pneumonia Absolutely. shot. Absolutely. Because that's all going to help also. Yeah. If you have any kind of upper respiratory, you know, uh, uh, depressed immune system. Now they're saying even high blood pressure. You should really stay home. Yeah, stay that's home. what I'm Don't doing. Don't take the chance. Uh, yeah, I'm here at the radio station. Yeah. But, but I... you can go outside. Go outside and walk. Walk the dog. Go to the beach. You can still go to the beach. You know, just you know, stay uh, six feet away from people. Don't shake hands. Don't. Um, you know, as much as the restaurant industry is going to, you know, hate for me to say this, no, but I, I am not you know, be careful out going there. out. I'm not. Um, you know, of course, you're going to eliminate well, because, bars. Yeah, but yeah, because you really don't know who's cooking the food. You don't. You know, that's exactly. why I'm. I'm feeling that I'm. But just then gonna... you have door handles, the tables, the you know, yeah, everything you come in contact with. So you um you made this wonderful list. Well, why don't you keep going? Because yeah. yes, okay. Such so great another ideas. one: online classes uh, or instructional videos. You know, I, I if, uh, one of the one of the things we said is art. Well, you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, I always wanted to paint." I I painted a uh, once, and I painted my dog and my cat. You did, and uh, yeah, and, and it actually came out pretty good. <laughs> I was very surprised at my ability to do this. I cheated a little bit. I sketched it out, and I did it kind of more mathematically because I made a graph and I was able to fill oh, in each little thing. But it came out pretty good. I did yep. it in acrylic, and I always said, oh, I'm going to do this again when I get the time. Now, I've had a canvas and all the paint sitting in the closet oh, for probably 15 this? years. Oh, you're funny. So, uh, you know, if I'm stuck in the house, right. I'll probably pull it out again and find something. You know, probably the dog again, because now he's older. So. <laughs> but, uh, so if you're looking to paint, go right. online, and, and it's free. Yeah. All this, all this stuff is and free. learn how to do it. Yeah. Another thing uh, that I... I'm Wait, always, excuse me. Cooking online. Oh, yeah. people, you learn yeah. so much on cooking. Yeah. I mesmerize my cooking shows. Yeah. Well, that's why they're so popular. Right? Because a lot of people are. I know. Uh, I, I bought a brand new computer once, and I didn't get the right amount of RAM, which you need for the computer to be a little bit faster. And so, so I went online, and I looked, and there was a guy on there who showed you how to do it. So I took this brand new computer apart. Now, I'm not... I'm handy, you know. But I took that brand new computer apart and put the extra RAM in there. And I had to do a couple things over again because I didn't get it right. But you watch the video a little bit, you do what he said. Then you start the video again, then you do what he said. And it just, step by step, it, you know, it'll get you through it. But there's also classes on history. There's lectures. There's podcasts. There's, you know, a lot yeah. of us who are, you know, over 40 years old, we're not used to the right. Internet. We're not used to, uh, you know, at first we only used it for a phone book. <laughs> a lot of us still do. That's I still right. do. I want to talk to That's somebody. That's right. Uh, so, you know, get on the Internet. It's wonderful. A little you know, bit you're more. helping me. I mean, yeah. thinking about stuff I haven't thought about. There's classes on how to use the Internet. <laughs> right. There's classes on how to use Office or, you know, do That's anything. how I learned how to do Facebook Live. Yeah. That's I, not on TV, but I had a book. Yeah. And I went into the book, and nobody seems to know how to do this, and it's so easy. Yeah. But it took a book for me to know to do right, this. Right. I research everything now. My car is having a problem. So I went online and it turns out that the car that I have 
this is a problem that happens all the time. So I went to the dealership and the dealership, oh, we have to tear out the whole top of the motor and we got to do this and we got to do that. And it's, you know, 2500 to $3,000. Well, I went online and there were several YouTube videos that showed that it was this one little thing. Now, I don't know if it would be a home, something to do at home in the driveway, but it was very simple and maybe cost $200. And they wanted me Amazing. to pay twenty five hundred dollars for something that cost two hundred. So what did you do that? What are you doing well, about I, it? Well, I'm getting a garage, a a, a place to take it now. Right. Before I have them do it, I'm going to ask if they've done it before. Right. You know, or at least watch the YouTube video that yeah, I watch, exactly. so they know exactly what they're getting into. But you're you're terrific. You see, yeah. this is. I'm so, in one way, I'm glad this has happened to us because yeah. I'm learning so much about. You things. can learn a language. Right. You know, free. This is all free online. So, yeah. so in other words, you're trying to say with this whole thing is if if you um, find yourself that you feel comfortable staying at home, right. don't just sit there, watch TV, right. do something that you're going to feel good about. Absolutely. And maybe you'll learn how to stay at home more. Right. Even when yeah, you, things you, are normal. A lot of people, we forget how to entertain ourselves, you know, how to keep ourselves busy. Some people are great at it. Yeah. You know, some people are great. They're very structured. Um, that's another big thing. Structure yourself. Don't don't sit around till twelve o'clock at night watching TV. If you normally go to bed at ten o'clock, go to bed at ten o'clock. If you normally wake up at six, get up at six. Schedule the time you eat. Schedule the time you exercise. Schedule the time you're on the internet. You may stay on the internet too long. It's not good to sit there. It's not good for your eyes. You know, or your back or your knees exactly. or legs. So so schedule all this and uh, stay on a schedule. It's very important to stay on a schedule. It's, it's like uh, you're uh, the doctor earlier today. Right. You know, you want to keep your immune system up, and you know, just sitting in the house isn't isn't the best thing to That's do. That's the one problem when people say they're retired. And mm -hmm. sometimes they go from morning to afternoon to evening. Wandering. And what have they done? Well, maybe I played a game of cards or something, but that no. can't be healthy, I don't think. No, no. you got to get up and move around. you got to yeah. do different things. Now, people so. who are used to being with their friends playing cards, so you should, no. I don't think they're doing that now, are they? Or maybe they still no, are. No, not now. Worst thing to do. I play poker. We sit there and, you know, we're touching cards. We're touching chips. We're, you know... We're sitting at this table. Some people are drinking, and you know it's so not you're the not best doing thing to do. so. You, for a uh, while, no, you're I'm gonna cutting cut. back on it. Yeah, so. cutting back, <laughs> yeah. cutting back. Well, and I do have through circles. I can trace back to somebody who has the virus. Really? Yeah. Who I know I've been in the same room with. No kidding. Yeah. So, so see, that's that's yeah, that's yeah. scary, isn't it? Right. Yeah. And I, and we're talking. My friend was at a function where there was somebody who had the virus. And, and, and that's how close it is. And and they get it strictly by the so and sneezing or droplets in the know. air or something, right? Yeah, particulates. Yeah. So. And so they, how's that person doing? I don't know. I don't know. You hear about people getting sick, but you never hear about how they're recovering. how they're doing. Now on YouTube, online, there was a guy who was on a cruise ship who did get the virus and got the flu and everything, and he went through the whole thing. And uh, you know, luckily, he, and he was seventy years old. But luckily, he, it didn't affect him that much. Fourteen so. days of quarantine. Huh? Yeah, and he just, you know, he, you know, the the video he had showed him while he was in bed and everything, and he said, "Oh, I, you know, I've been drink. They've been keeping me full of fluids, and they showed an energy drink that he was drinking, huh. and not a caffeine energy yeah, drink, but an amazing. energy, amazing, absolutely that, amazing, you know, helps uh, keep you in f with fluids and hydrate it." Okay, so you said so. We did the online classes, and you mm -hmm. went outside, but be careful. So. Yeah. So when you say leaving the house for a walk is safe, but you have to be careful that you don't. Uh, so you say, do not go to the gym. Take a no, dog. stay away from the gym. And why is that? Oh, well, people are touching everything, and you know, it's just they're breathing heavy. And if somebody sneezes, yeah. and you so know, it's just better to walk. Stay away from the gym. For it's a while. better to walk. Yeah. And just you know, I'm glad Get you mentioned to me because. I was thinking, you know, when, when the doctor this morning said, go do exercise, I was going to go down to the gym and get on the bike. I'm no. not. No. Nope. No, I'm not doing that. I'm no. going to walk instead, Just right? go outside. Get fresh air. Yeah, fresh, fresh air. air is good. Fresh air has never killed anyone. So. <laughs> Especially, you're right, if you can live yeah. near the beach, you ought to do it. You have a dog. Yeah. Right, take them out. Take your cat yeah. out. Cats have yeah. probably never been out before, right? <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... um. And you're saying stay six feet from other people. Yeah. So are we six feet from each other? Well, unfortunately, we're not. Oh, we're okay. close. Well, all right. Well, I don't feet. have. You don't have anything. I don't have anything. No. And I haven't been near anyone. But the one thing is, I had about three different 
shows to mm-hmm. go to, one mm-hmm. Saturday night and one next week, and I've canceled it all, and now I find out that they've closed the theater anyway. Yeah. They're not even doing it. Yeah, I have a couple theater tickets. I have tickets for Johnny Mathis in uh, Palm Beach, and uh, I'm, you know, they're sending updates now. They're they're saying that they're gonna, they may uh, close till the tenth, I think, or something like that. Can so. you you know think about this? What this is like now? You're closing mm-hmm. a theater. Yeah. The performers got to change their schedule. Right. I wonder what that's all about. It must be terrible on those kind of people. Yeah, look at the cruise industry and stuff. Absolutely. You know? and, and, the, and the jobs, you know, the people who, you know, sell the produce for the ships, the people who load the ships, the you know, the people who greet you as you come through and everything else. I mean, it really, you know, it really spreads out into the community. It is. It's so big. One of the things that's really tough on businesses, you know, the landlords, they always get their money, regardless they get their money, or you go out of business and you leave. It would be nice if there would be some sort of, you know, government assistance with paying rent, or if they say to the landlord, okay, yeah. give a break to your tenants, yeah. and we're going to give you a break with, uh, in South Florida, commercial properties pay a lot of money in taxes. So if they, you know, in order to keep businesses in business, uh, if, they, if the state said, okay, we're going to give you a break on taxes, but you have to give a break to your tenants. Good point. You know, where That's the federal government, nice. you know, gives them a break. Because yeah. a lot of businesses, especially in a seasonal area like we are, you know, um, a lot of these businesses are going to lose out on the end of the season. And sometimes the season carries them through the rest of the year. Right. So, you know, it's always bothered me. You know, I was a realtor through the housing crisis, and I, and I watched these commercial landlords, and they were always making their money until the businesses just couldn't do it, and then they went out of business. And I think the loss has to be shared across the board. You're so fair. You know. You're such a fair person. You're absolutely so right. I, you know, listen, I don't want to take anything away from no. commercial business owners. It's hard enough as it is. Right. When they're vacant, they're vacant for a long yeah. time. Uh, but you, you know, if you want to keep a tenant, especially if you've had a good tenant for a long right. time, you know, cut them a break. You know, I just wrote a check for my office. I'm wondering if I, and I just left it yesterday. I probably yeah. should have held back. I hope they're not listening where I am, but I'm negotiating with them. Yeah. I'm so listen, I cannot afford, I'm not going to be selling property or as much right. property. Typically I make two thirds of my income in the first half of the year because the first half of the year is more tourist season right. when people are here. So uh, I'm going to miss out on that, and so I'm going to my landlord and saying, "Listen, I, should have I have to cut back show on my rent, you know, because it's one of my biggest, you know, things that I have to pay of for. Course. A couple of uh, other things that I'm cutting back on as well. Right, so. right. Well, everybody. Well, but they they announced that the small business so small business mm-hmm. agency that they're going to give people money or loan they're people money or to, something yeah. Yeah. to help to to fray yeah. this, but unfortunately. Sometimes it takes a long time to get it. Exactly. Sometimes by the yeah. time you get it, it's too late. So. Yes. No, you're really right. So, yeah. y- you know, it's true. And and actually, I rent my apartment. Maybe I should talk to my landlord, too. He's he's a dentist. Yeah, I mean, so. some people have a fixed income that comes in regardless of what happens. But not everybody does. I don't have a fixed right. income like right. that. So I have to base everything I do on either what I made last year or right. what I'm projected income, really. to make in right. the future. So, and businesses are like that, too. Yeah. They have their business plan that they want to follow. See, what you're talking about now is what – it's really a crisis. It's not mm-hmm. only a virus crisis, but it's a yeah. financial crisis on no, everyone, absolutely. right? Absolutely. And so everybody has to be easier now. You know who's making a lot of money? Publix and all those yeah. places. Well, you know, they deliver. But one of the things you have to remember is something from outside is coming into your house. So anything. Now, the first thing I would do, the bags come in, take everything out of the bag and throw the bags away. A lot of us save bags. I save bags for, you know, whatever. The dog I do, too. Stuff. You're right. Don't throw use the bags those away. bags. Then get your wipes and wipe all the products down. Wipe everything. Oh in. my heavens! I and have... then wash your hands. See, you that's know? such good advice. Wash your hands, and then you can put stuff away. And then you're, you know, you should be safe. You took every precaution you possibly could. You, you know, did. that's really important. And we're wiping it down with what? Uh, Clorox wipes, and yeah, you know, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on all this stuff. A roll of paper towels and a spray bottle. You put a little bit of bleach in the bottle. Fill it with water. You know, the concentrations are online that you can get. Of course, you want to stay away from fabrics and, and stuff like that. 
but uh, even hand sanitizer. You know, there's no hand sanitizer. Well, you can make hand sanitizer at home. A little bit of bleach, a little bit of water, and, you know, put it in the bottle that you, you How know. How about alcohol? Can't we? Well, you know, there's a run on alcohol. You know, oh, so you I bought a whole thing of alcohol, alcohol the well, other day. Well, you might not want to leave the house, you know. Uh-huh, and right. the same thing with wipes. Wipes are very expensive. Yeah. But, you know. You don't have to. You can make your own. Make your own. It's it's simple, you know. Everybody has bleach. And you yeah. don't need a lot of bleach. It's right. very little bleach. Right. Does, it goes a long way. So. Oh, you've been so wonderful to do this with us. And so, let's see. Limit trips to the stores and other places. Yeah. Uh, if you get anything from somewhere else, wipe it down. Uh, let's see, you talked about how you can make your own sanitizer, mm-hmm. and then you can do is to make a schedule and stay on it. You said that before, yeah. and uh, it's really important, and I'll tell you, you, you you're you great. It's funny. Yeah. I, I never would think that a realtor, of course, <laughs> would be into this, but you are, I really call you a renaissance Well, man. if I came in and talked about real estate once yeah, a month, right. it would be boring. No, it, no, People would be turning off. Well, it would never be boring with you, yeah. but you're right. But all along, now let's see, your last article here. Oh, it just came out yeah. uh, in the uh, March issue. It's called Virus Mania. Yeah. That was really a good article. And that was written over a month ago before this I was big. I know it. You know? I know. I, I was going to ask you, why did you think that that was going to be so big? Well, for one, you know, trying to think of something that uh, may be, still be a hot topic a month from the time I'm writing You really it. never because, knew, did you? Yeah, because these articles don't go in the week no. before. They're, oh my they're a month God. before. That was amazing it. that you did that yeah. because, yeah, and then the towels. You know, I, I like the yeah. idea about your towel. And but now it's stay out of the gym altogether. Yeah. Wait. Well, with this, everything. Like the doctor said, this is going to get better. Don't don't get, don't get really paranoid. And all of these things, even if you do half of these things, you're going to have a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. And having a sense of accomplishment makes you feel better. Right. But you I know. think the most important thing is if you do have a cold or you do right. have something, stay away from people. Right. Just be nice enough, right? Right. Not to infect anyone. It's a responsible thing. And, and how do you know? It might just be a cold. It might not be anything exactly. else. Exactly. So you just stay there, you know, put Vicks on your feet, as I say, with socks on yeah. at night and... And um, lots make, of water, lots yeah. of fruit, right? But make vegetables. sure somebody's, you know, checking in on you once a day oh, or a yeah. couple times a day. Oh, yeah. You know. And so let me give um, your phone number again. If you want to just talk to Anthony, he's so smart. You can call him, of course, uh, at 954-815-9048. If you do want to talk about property, he'll be there. Yeah. You may want to sell and move up north, who knows, or yeah. move somewhere or change your thing. But he is a full-time realtor. He's, he's here once a month, and he talks about so many things in sales, rentals, property management. He says, buy smart, sell smart, and live well. Yeah. And I if I that. can't do it, I'll find somebody who I can. know you will. You are such a great guy. <laughs> Thank Anthony, you. thanks again for uh, being here with us. It's yeah. always, I have a lot of people watching you this morning. But thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, finish you off here. <laughs> <laughs>